Hi, Stuart. Hi. Um, you played a draw today, uh, so maybe you can tell us a little bit about this game. How did it go? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, it was a, it was an interesting game. There were uh, some good attacking chances I had it just out of the opening. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I probably after a long think, I probably picked the wrong option. I sort of picked a continuation where the, the position settled down a little bit. When I when I played, I think it was e takes f6. Mm -hmm. and my original intention was to play queen h5 there, mm -hmm. and uh, then I'm threatening f takes e6, and I've obviously the mate threat on h7. Uh -huh. uh, so then black probably should take an e5 with a queen, and then I looked at two ways of continuing I can sacrifice a piece with bishop d4 but this doesn't work and then I can just play rook e1 and then I'm still threatening uh, when then then I'm threatening some discovered attacks uh, with my bishop mm -hmm. uh, but then I was worried about black then playing g6 because the f5 pawn was pinned and then I have to move my queen and then he can take an f5 and then he, he can sacrifice some material some way to try and mm -hmm. resolve things but uh I've only had a quick look in the analysis room and I think maybe that was that was promising. I'll have to have another look later. Okay, so uh, as it turned out, um, you, you had the queen for, yeah, after for that, Rook yeah, Bishop. Yeah, again, something interesting happened soon some, afterwards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, uh, and uh, what I was... Um, it was a little combination where I ended up with a queen for a rook and a piece. Yes, and at one point uh, you could have a perpetual check, but uh, then you decided to play on. Yeah, I decided to play on. I thought that I, there, were, there were no risks. For, uh, uh -huh. for me, so I thought I should push a little bit. Maybe if I can infiltrate his position with my king, yes. I might have some chances. There might be some Zugzwan uh, ideas. Uh -huh. So I tried to bring my king around the queen side, but he found a good defensive plan of bringing his rook back. Yeah. It was, to C6. I think, it was courageous because you were very low on time. And um, do, did you think there was some risk for you in this uh, to play on and not taking the perpetual? Or no, no, I didn't think there were any risks. I thought it, only I could, only I could win. So that's why I played on. Okay. So as a whole, I think the match is running quite well. Did yeah, you have to look at some other positions? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I, I saw that on, on bottom board. Uh, we won in fine style. Yes. So that was a great win. Okay. And and Maxim seemed to be doing very well as well. Uh, yeah, he, he finished with a draw. It right. Was yeah, a, yeah. Was a rook ending. Yeah, he was a pawn up, but yes. then it, 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 yeah. it, it simplified to a, a, a drawn ending. Okay. And Andre is similar, he's, he's, he's a pawn up as well in a rook end game. So, okay. so I think it's uh, going quite well at the moment yep. for, for the team. So uh, last time uh, we won against Bream, which was very, oh, very good. Oh, great, great result for, yeah. for us. And um, let's look forward to tomorrow uh, when we play Kartenberg. Yeah. Um, I think you know who your opponent is by now. Uh, it's, it's highly likely, I guess, yeah. Yeah. So maybe uh, you can think Think of something it. to play tomorrow. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay. Prepare. So good luck for you tomorrow thank you and very much, thank Stefan. you for the interview. Oh, no problem. Bye. Thank you, Stefan.